my channel. I have a Sephora and Ulta haul for you today. Um, I went over two different times um, to Sephora and then one trip to Ulta because they had the 20% off sale. So let's get started. These are my favorite videos to watch. Um, I love watching haul videos so I hope y'all enjoy this as well. I got a lot of good stuff. So first we'll start with um, skincare. Um, I went to my local Sephora and the Alginus rep was there and I got the Hydrating Essence Toner as well as the Multi Perfecting um, Concentrate and it's the toner is really amazing because usually when you use a toner it has alcohol base to it so it really makes your skin feel dry both of these products have hyaluronic acid so it's going to help add moisture back into your skin um, and it leaves your skin feeling really like soft and supple and I really really enjoy it so far um, they were a little bit on the pricey side but um, I've been struggling with like acne on my chin and being really dry since I moved here to Houston so I thought I would give it a go so I'll let y'all know how this turns out but so far I'm really liking them and of course it's everyone's favorite time at Sephora gift time I did get the Buxom um, roulette lip gloss set so it's got 15 glosses in it they are not full size they're the smaller travel size um, but it was $59 um, it was really awesome I didn't see um, any kind of other sets like this like with this many glosses in it and I love Buxom glosses so it's got a good mixture of like um, shimmers and more matte and um, dark colors as well as a couple lights like it has mud slide in here which I use all the time um, and a couple of them like are some that I just like wouldn't use myself but I think I'm just gonna kind of like break them up and use them like as um, stocking stuffers so I just thought that was a cute idea um, $59 it's pretty cute I dig it. I love boxing, so I thought I'd give that a try. Um, something else I got while I was in Sephora that just came out is the Elizabeth and James um, Nirvana. This is Mary Kate and Ashley's um, perfume line, the white bottle. I use their perfume like daily, um, but fragrance seems to like um, fade on me. And so the girl was telling me that this oil just came out, and if you layer and you use the oil first, that it will help your fragrance last throughout the day. So I'm really excited to try this to just layer my perfume. So we'll see how it goes. I love it. It's one of my favorite fragrances, and I'm going to wear it into the, um, into the winter as well. So always good. Um, speaking of gift sets and gift time, Benefit had the cutest gift set in life at Ulta. Um, it's in this little tin. It was, what, $39. You get a mini professional, the Gimme Brow, which I use on a daily basis. Um, their Real Mascara and Stay, Stay Don't Stray, the um, eyeshadow primer, which I had never tried before. So I'm really excited to open this. And I mean, just the tin itself, really, I mean, this packaging is adorable. So I'm super pumped about that. Also, from the Sephora front, can you tell I love Benefit? Um, Benefit had the Professional and the Total Moisture um, Cream for $32. And it's the full size of the Benefit um, Primer, the Professional. So, I thought I would give it a go because I use it anyway. So, you might as well pay for $32 and you get the moisturizer as well. So, it's kind of like a two-in-one deal. So, cute packaging again got me. So, that was cute. Two more little gift sets. They really kill me with these gift sets at Christmas. <laughs> Tarte. Um, I got this last year. I got this set that came out with the blushes. Um, this year they did it in like a gold packaging, which I guess is supposed to be kind of like a clutch. And then it has two barrettes that will come off. One is pearl and one is like a diamond. Um, the packaging is really huge. Um, I know it's Blondie talks about it and it is huge packaging. It's kind of hard to store. But the blushes are amazing. Like, I don't know if this will show up on camera, but I think that this is even better colors than they were last year. Um, so you've got like your range of colors from, you know, a light kind of color that I'll probably like contour with a little bit um, to some really nice plums and kind of like a peach in there as well. Um, it's really cute. I really like this, especially for travel. Um, I think it's going to be amazing. And that one was $42. So, I mean, but you get what? Five blushes? So, cute. I really like that. And I almost missed out on it last year. So, I really wanted to make sure I got my hands on it early. 
And I also got the Too Faced Melted Kiss gift set. Um, these are the smaller tubes in it. I'm wearing the Peony one today. I had that in the uh, large size. But I really wanted to try these darker ones in the nude. And this hot pink is super cute as well. So I just thought that was a good time to buy because, I mean, really, am I going to use the entire package, the, the big size? Probably not because I kind of use something and then I move on to the next thing. So I thought that this was really good. You get Melted Nude, Melted Peony, Melted Fuchsia, and Melted Berry, which is the one I'm really excited about. And the packaging from Too Faced this year is really, really, really cute. So they did a really good job with their holiday packaging. I was excited about that more on the lip front. I bought a couple things from Great Beauty. I got Leche, which is their matte lip crayon. Um, I was really excited to try this. It's a really pretty nude color. Let me try to swatch that and see if you can see. Um, so I just figured it'd be really nice for the fall and even moving into the summer. Um, just a gorgeous matte um, lip color. So, they Che, it's pretty. I also got Mulberry, um, which is their Luminous Cream Lipstick. I love everything from Bite. I use their Agave um, Lip Mask at night. I love it. Um, and their just formulation is just amazing on their products. Like, it's so super creamy. And the color payoff is just amazing. That's mulberry. It's so pretty. It's going to be really pretty for fall. I'm super excited about that one. And then on the lipstick front, because <laughs> the girl can never have too many lip glosses or lipsticks, I got two from NARS. I got Fabby and I got Liv. Fabby is just this gorgeous plum color. It's a little bit more pink than the Bite Beauty one is. Um, it's got a little bit more of a pink undertone to it. Um, but it's really pretty just for like a nude eye with that bold lip. I think it's gonna be really a great staple for fall. And the packaging is super cute. Like I love how they did the magnetic closure. Good job, good job, NARS. And then I got Liv as well, which is that same kind of tone. Can we tell I'm on a dark lip kick right now? right here is Liv. It's just a super dark plum color. It kind of reminds me of a mix between like um, Rebel and Diva from MAC maybe almost because it's super dark. But I really like that for fall. And then everyone has been hyping up this um, the Lorac Pro matte lip color. Um, so I did pick this up while I was in Ulta because they had 20% off. And I got this one in um, mauve. So it's really pretty. It's really close to that bite one I got. But um, it's right here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful, just nude, everyday kind of a color, but it has a little bit more pink to it. I can't wear nudes that are really brown based because it just completely washes me out because I'm so fair. So um, I really like that. I can't wait to try it. Also, I never thought I was gonna jump on this bandwagon, but people have been raving about, about the Kat Von D foundation. Um, the locket tattoo. I need full coverage. I have acne scarring on my chin, um, so I cannot just wear like sheer tinted BB creams. Like it just doesn't work for me. Um, so I did get a sample of this um, from the girl at Sephora, and I wore it for a couple days. This does not come off. Like it says 24 hour wear. I haven't tried to wear it for 24 hours, obviously, but it is all day wear. Like I set it with my translucent NARS powder and I'm good to go. It still looks good throughout the day. Um, it is full coverage, but it doesn't really feel super heavy on my skin. Um, and I am like a MAC fix um, fluid girl all the way. And I think this is gonna replace that for me. So good job. I really like that cap on D. Two more Bite Beauty purchases. I'm telling you, I'm on a roll with Bite Beauty. Like, addicted. I got the um, matte lip crayon in Aubergine. <laughs> Y'all are going to be like, really? Seriously? Did you need this color in your life? Yes, of course I did. I think it's going to go gorgeous. It's right here. I mean, how pretty is that? It's just a gorgeous berry color. And it'll go with all these gloss lipsticks that I bought. Um, 
it's just pretty. I might do it all over the lip by itself, just maybe a little bit of gloss on top of it. Um, that's aubergine. It's beautiful. And then to remove all these dark lip colors, I got the Bite Lush Wipes. Um, lip wipes. These were not cheap. Um, I think you only get like, I don't know, five or ten in the pack or something. Um, but it does come with a cute little mirror. And they are individual, so you can kind of like keep them in your purse. But it is good for those lips that, especially like if I do night moth like all over my lip, um, at the end of the night, like it's hard for me to get that off when I'm washing my face. So this is kind of just maybe like an extra step. But I thought it was cute. The packaging got me. And it was in the Isle of Doom at the front of the store, you know, the checkout area where you just buy your impulse buys. So this was there. And yes, they got me on that. I also went ahead and picked up the Smashbox pore minimizing primer um i know i bought some benefit already how much primer does one person need but um the girl gave me a sample of this last time i was there and i really really like it and i've noticed a couple other channels um people talking about nicole guerrero talking about how much she likes this uh primer even more than the benefit pore professional so i thought i would give it a try um i'm always into like new products so i don't know we'll see how i like it but I've used it a couple of days in my little sample and I like it. Another new obsession for me has been Nails Ink polishes. Um, I bought them in a little travel set first. Um, and the little holiday edition kit, it was $19. I got it from Sephora. Um, and I did my nails with it once and I fell in love with it. So I went back and I got Chelsea. And I also got the red one, um, it's called Kensington Garden, um, which is what I have on my nails now. And then I invested in their base coat and their gel top coat as well. This one, the, their base coat is called Nail Kale. So it has kale in it apparently, which, I mean, I put that in my smoothies for health benefits. So it helps to really strengthen the nail as your base coat. And I have painted my nails with it, and I like it so far. And then I also got the Nails Ink um, Top Coat. And this is the gel top coat, so it goes along with these Nails Ink gel polishes. And it's just pretty. It just makes a really nice finish on the nail. Um, and I have been looking for a good top coat. I was using um, Seche Vite, and I could not stand it. So, um, so far, so good. I really do like these. A couple of little things. I've got one more polish. I thought this would be really cute for like the holiday season. It's Formula X um, nail polish in Alchemy. And I actually saw um, Florida Force bought this while she was in Sephora. In I think she was in um, Seattle, Washington. I don't know. She was somewhere in the States. Um, she's from overseas. But she bought this color and she had it on her nails. And I just fell in love with it. So I went ahead and picked it up for myself. I think it will be really pretty for the fall. It's real iridescent gold with some blues in it. Um, and something else that I had no idea that came in this form is the Duo Brush On Lash Adhesive. Um, I was going to look for just my traditional Duo Lash Glue. And this one comes in um, like stick form where you just paint it onto the lash. Which is so much more convenient because I can't stand when you use Duo and then the top gets all crusty and you have to like pull the dried glue out and it's just disgusting. So I'm going to try this. I really like it. I like the way it looks. Um, I like the formulation of it because it's just got that little nice end on it. So you can just kind of like paint your lash and then you don't end up getting like globs and globs of uh, lash glue that you don't need. Also from Sephora or Ulta actually, I picked up the Scandalized Flex Mascara um, by Rimmel. I am obsessed with Rimmel mascaras. Like every single one of them that I have tried, I have been in love with. And it was time for me to just kind of clean out and throw away my old ones and restock. So I went ahead and got this. But I love like any mascara with like the big huge brush like that to really give you some volume and to like really give you that big voluminous lash. That's this my jam. Like I'm obsessed with that. So I think I really like that. And then the last couple things I got from Ulta was the Joyco Body Lux Volumizing Elixir. I don't remember who I heard talking about this brand. Um, it was either Nicole or it's Blondie. Um, but I bought this when I was with my mom and you just put it in wet when you're, while your hair is wet um, and it acts like as a volumizer and it's kind of like a gel formulation. 
and it smells amazing like it's just like a gel you just kind of put in your hair it smells so good and it really does give you volume and I bought it with my mom when I was in uh, back home in Louisiana and she actually took mine and she's using it so I went ahead and got another one for myself because I am all about volume like I need all the help I can get in this hair let's be honest and then the last two little things I got I tried the um, Sephora um, instant deep puffing eye mask I don't know just sometimes you need like a spa night and these were cheap I don't know like six dollars eight dollars something like that so I just thought I'll give this a go and we'll see how it works I'll let y'all know if you've tried it leave a comment down below and let me know how it works I've seen all their other masks too like they have the rose mask and the hydration masks and I totally love masks so I'm trying I might give that a go next time um, I'm in Sephora and then the last thing I got was this Stila eyes are the window to the soul palette there was a bunch of these I think there's like four different palettes that came out that they did with this first of all can we talk about the packaging um yes it is amazing it's beautiful um, but the colors are gorgeous like they're all matte which is really difficult to find matte shadow palettes like I feel like everyone has shimmer in them and a lot of times mattes can tend to be really chalky these are just gorgeous like these oranges here at the bottom like are just amazing and then I've, I love purples so let me just swatch a couple for you like that is that orange can you see that right there like or can we talk about that like how gorgeous is that for fall and then the brown underneath it just to kind of smoke out that lower lash line I think it's going to be gorgeous I mean look how pigmented those are it's just beautiful so I really love this I can't wait to play with it I think this is a really good Christmas gift to give somebody too because it's just gorgeous I mean the packaging alone is just amazing so so I think that's pretty much it oh last little random thing I got y'all are probably like really Kelly um I got the peppermint cracked heel treatment just because I got some really cute those socks you know they have at Bath and Body Works with the shea butter in it so I got this to kind of put on first as like a treatment to do at night and just kind of sit and like let my feet refresh especially since we're about to be in like boot weather and our feet are going to be in boots all day and so I don't know we'll try it smells really good like super pepperminty and it's really creamy so I'm excited to try that so guys, that was my Sephora and my Ulta haul. I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, leave me comments down below if you've tried anything that I've picked up. Um, and let me know how it was. I'm excited to hear from you guys. Thanks again for subscribing and liking my video. Um, and I'll be back next time with a tutorial. So stay tuned. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Y'all have a great day. <music>